in this particular module i am going to take you through different case studies different applications or examples of implementation of iiot so different industries are trying to adopt iot iiot solutions so i am going to take you through the collection of different adoptions and uh, the stories behind these adoptions of iiot technologies by different industries i am going to do, do it domain wise so in the first domain we are going to talk about smart manufacturing industries so manufacturing industries the assembly lines and so on is the first one to be considered smart factory more specifically is what we are going to revisit uh, uh, once again and look at which different industries have been adopting iiot solutions and how their processes have improved consequently so uh, let us look at uh, manufacturing so whenever we are talking about manufacturing traditionally there were different challenges these manufacturing machines they used to work in isolation they these machines were not connected there were different other challenges such as because these machines were not connect connected with one another uh, you know th there was unbalanced workload in these different machines so the workload across the different machines doing the same thing was not balanced there were other challenges also challenges with respect to the availability of data in real time that was also another challenge tra with traditional manufacturing with the traditional isolated manufacturing machines which were not connected with one another and which were also not connected from one machine to some centralized entity or the control station there were challenges with respect to longer change over time that means converting a line or machine from running one product to another so whenever this change over will have to happen it used to take much longer and so on that is the that is the traditional manufacturing the drawbacks of it the other challenge with traditional manufacturing was that the production time itself used to be much more extended this is because of lack of proper information and data of the production line so all of these different challenges the five different uh, the four different challenges that i have just mentioned could be overcome with smart manufacturing solutions so smart manufacturing smart factories factories which integrate iiot solutions to basically transform them to be smart so smart factory smart manufacturing is what we are going to talk about over here so smart factory so whenever we are talking about smart factory smart factory integrates it and ot so you have these traditional machinery the traditional equipments the tra traditional operational technologies and their optimization self optimization automation and so on so not just not just having these machines run respectively in isolation but also to optimize the processes you know automatically in you know through the collection of the different data that are coming from these machines about their health conditions and so on and also through the automation overall so self optimization and automation so benefits of these smart factories are going to be that one can you know in real time get lot of data data about different things particularly the data about the health condition of these different machines this data will have to be analyzed and based on the analysis quality control can be done and that is all of these things can be done only in a smart factory smart factory results in reduced change over time smart factory re results in reduced production time and also smart factory has the features of flexibility flexibility with respect to change over flexibility with respect to adoption of newer components newer technologies integration integration within and beyond uh, uh, the system and also uh, ease of management so all of these are different different benefits of a smart factory so before i proceed let me show you some of the different features of 
a smart factory. So, smart factory is something that I have already discussed in a previous lecture, but let us try to uh, you know go over this particular thing in much more detail because IIoT a good application uh, uh, you know uh, instance of IIoT is basically the building of smart factories. So, whenever we are talking about smart factories, we are talking about different field devices. So, field devices. So, uh, you know these are basically sensor enabled devices which will help in uh, execution of different processes in a smart manner. So, different processes running in them, running on them. Uh, the uh, you know different other uh, uh, other things can be done uh, such as uh, the maintenance maintenance of these devices of the system of the processes logistics logistics and manufacturing so all of these in other words manufacturing so in other words you could have field devices improve the processes, improve the maintenance, improve logistics, improve manufacturing holistically. So, these are the different things that can be done with the help of these sensor enabled field devices. So, these field devices are basically sensor enabled. So, sensor enabled. So, uh, let me also tell you that not only the uh, these field devices are, uh, are enabled with the sensors, but these are also uh, uh, you know the sensors are also uh, uh, enabled with uh, the different workers, the workers or uh, the different personnel that are involved. They also will have different wearable sensors which continuously are going to monitor uh, uh, their uh, you know their work habits. Uh, you know their stress level and so on and for, so forth. So, all of these so monitoring the health of the different devices monitoring the health and the working condition of these different workers and the workforce the personnel so on working in a smart factory all of these things are going to be done. So, thereafter these data are going to be sent to the shop floor. So, these are like different units. Right. So, uh, every uh, manufacturing plant has a shop floor, different shop floors are there. So, these are like different units for manufacturing, uh, you know different uh, units catering to the different uh, requirements uh, within a particular factory. So, shop floor uh, will have uh, different uh, controllers, these are machine controllers that might be there within a shop floor. So, machine controllers. Uh, and so on. Uh, so, these machine controllers will again be connected with each other. So, I forgot to mention over here that these different devices taking care of processes, maintenance, logistics, manufacturing and also these components uh, between themselves they are all going to be uh, connected with each other right. And this is going to happen through the use of uh, uh, different communication mechanisms like Zigbee. Uh, or Bluetooth or the different different communication technologies that I covered in a in the introductory lecture on IoT. So, all of these uh, uh, are uh, going to talk to each other. So, so, this is the shop floor and from the shop floor uh, basically the data are going to be sent to the uh, manufacturing uh, plant. So, the manufacturing plant will have the uh, manufacturing manufacturing uh, execution system right manufacturing execution system which uh, will again have different different components like control rooms you know sub control rooms and so on which will also have to be connected through these different communication mechanisms like maybe wifi bluetooth etc and uh, finally, uh, the data will be sent maybe to a system integrator like ERP right. So, this may be the ERP uh, uh, which is going to do the data uh, collection 
storage and uh, maybe analysis and this could be even cloud enabled. So, this could be ERP cloud, cloud enabled ERP. Not only just analysis, but also visualization is also possible. So, all of these different things can be done. So, holistically, so this is your enterprise level, enterprise level. So, we started with the field device level, then uh, the next level higher up was the shop floor, then the plant and finally, the enterprise level. So, uh, you know in a smart factory all of these things are going to be interconnected these different devices throwing in lot of data being processed in the shop floor different controllers connectivity between them again sending the data to the manufacturing system uh, and their execution at the plant level and then at the cloud level the ERP, ERP could be used uh, ERP and cloud together could be used for data collection, storage, analysis and visualization. This is holistically how a smart factory looks like. So, uh, this is uh, the high level block diagram of how these operations go on in a smart factory. So, let us having understood this thing, let us now proceed further and uh, try to we have already seen that these are the different benefits of having a smart factory. Let us now look at uh, from a different perspective uh, how this smart factory is going to work. So, at the very bottom we will have this sensor enabled tools and workers. So, this is what I was telling you earlier that your devices are going to be sensor enabled. This is understood in a manufacturing plant in a factory and so on, but not only these tools and devices, but also the workers are going to be sensor enabled. So, both the tools and the workers are going to be sensor enabled. They are going to th throw in lot of data which are going to pass in through this gateway to the cloud where, where further, uh, uh, further data analysis data visualization etcetera etcetera are going to be done and the results are going to be made available to, uh, uh, to the respective stakeholders based on their corresponding policies, their access control mechanisms in place and so on. So, uh, in terms of the features of a smart factory, uh, these are some of these different features. Uh, you know in a smart factory we are talking about connected devices which are going to send lot of uh, data in real time continuously. Uh, optimized uh, components optimized data without uh, any human intervention or uh, with minimal human intervention is uh, a characteristic of a smart factory. Uh, smart factory uh, is uh, uh, transparent in the sense that you are going to get lot of data, live data uh, you, you know depending on the metrics that are implemented you are going to get all this live data and those data can be used suitably at different levels of management for quicker decision making. So, transparency is also promoted in a smart factory. Um, a proactive uh, feature uh, means that uh, you know uh, proactively we can predict the future outcomes and take reactive uh, sorry preventive actions depending on uh, the the uh, depending on the situation and what is going on or what is going to happen in the future so proactively uh, you know based on the prediction of future outcomes one can take preventive actions and finally agility uh, agility uh, with respect to flexibility flexibility to change uh, change uh, you know adaptation, adoption of newer systems components, changes in terms of the versions etcetera. So, all of these things are possible in a smart factory. Let us now look at some of these case studies uh, right. So, uh, you know I will start with uh, the Airbus company which has state of the art uh, you know uh, implementation of IIoT. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know Airbus basically has uh, adopted something known as the factory of the future. So, before I talk about the factory of the future, uh, let me give you a brief highlight about, uh, Air, uh, about Airbus. So, Airbus as you know is a, uh, is a major player, player in the aviation sec sector um, and Airbus is a uh, German uh, and uh, German or in general I can tell that it is an European uh, aircraft manufacturer and uh, it applies uh, lot of IoT technologies in its production process. Uh, so, essentially what happens is that uh, you know 
Consequently, what happens during the production that means, during manufacturing production so on in the uh, floor uh, in the floor of the plants and also after the products are deployed in a real aircraft lot of data can be collected. So, lot of data can be collected at the time of manufacturing production in the flo floor of the plants, but also additionally lot of data can be collected from the flight recorders from the flight recorders while the flights are in operation. So, collecting data on flights will help to improve the in flight experience and the workers on the factory floor can use these IoT devices to improve their processes to get an understanding about uh, the, the uh, about the different uh, uh, you know uh, the different positions in the manufacturing process and so on the I mean how much the manufacturing has processed what are the different gaps etcetera in the process and so on. So, all of these things holistically the workers on the factory floor using these IoT enabled devices can get a holistic understanding. So, Airbus they launched this digital manufacturing initiative which is known as the factory of the future. So, this is how it looks like let us look at this factory of the future. So, in a factory of the future in a factory of the future we are talking about different different components components such as IOT sensors for supply chain management supply chain management. Um, then we are talking about modular equipments use of modular equipments use of different robots robotic arms etcetera use of concepts of industrial augmented reality use of uh, computer vision computer vision image processing and um, video processing in real time and so on then uh, use of uh, logistics and trucks and particularly in an autonomous system which is a characteristic of the factory of the future we are typically talking about un unmanned unmanned trucks and uh, we are talking about workers and uh, uh, these different machines which have uh, wearables wearables um, we are talking about uh, you know ERP then supply chain management probably cloud enabled and also maybe you know blockchain implemented blockchain implemented and these basically will be these are these different components which are going to randomly I am uh, you know connecting them, but uh, basically they are going to uh, work uh, together um, and uh, also what is very important is finally, all of these are going to throw in this data. Uh, this data will be used for uh, predictive predictive or preventive preventive machine analytics right so this is typically uh, how it uh, looks like uh, what it looks like in a factory of the future and uh, as I told you that uh, Airbus has already adopted the factory of the future right. So, let us now proceed further and uh, look at these different uh, other um, you know uh, uh, other implementations that are that Airbus has adopted with respect to the factory of the future. So, with uh, respect to the in implementation of factory of the future uh, Airbus now has mechanisms for digital tracking and monitoring. 
uh, tools and machines with wearable sensors, sensors which are integrated to them. Uh, not only those wearable sensors, but also uh, you know equipment such as smart glasses can be used. The industry grade smart glasses could be used with maybe uh, you know augmented reality support. So these smart glasses uh, uh, could be used. So Airbus is, is using all of these different things uh, for its implementation of factory of the future. So 3D real time visualization of the production process is possible. Uh, and all of these things uh, are also deployed different sensors and all of these things are deployed on the A330 and A350 uh, models and their assembly lines uh, which uh, are there in the Toulouse uh, uh, manufacturing plant in, uh, in, in France. And uh, they have also deployed uh, you know this factory of the future for the A400M model and uh, their assembly operations in the UK. Another uh, company uh, which is a German robotics maker uh, name is KUKA, uh, they have their IoT enabled factory uh, which basically caters to uh, you know having different robots, their manufacturing uh, of the robots uh, uh, and uh, their connectivity between them etcetera all of these things have been implemented IoT enabled connectivity between these different devices, sensors, connectivity and so on. So, all of these things are provided you know ha have been enabled in KUKA. Uh, so, basically uh, these robots are connected uh, uh, with a private cloud and uh, so KUKA basically uh, uh, produces uh, uh, more than 800 units uh, of these different devices per day. So, uh, another application is uh, the construction internet of things. So, by uh, the company Dewalt. Dewalt is a tool manufacturer which launched this initiative of construction IoT. Uh, it uses the IoT platform and the Wi-Fi mesh network that tracks the workers and their uh, the equipments that they are using. Uh, the construction internet of uh, things basically monitors the sites, the construction sites uh, which are very large as large as the NFL uh, you know football stadium. ABB uh, came up with the UMI model uh, which is uh, basically an initiative for collaboration between different robots industry scale robots and the humans UMI model. And ABB as you know is a powerful uh, is a power and robotics firm uh, which uh, comes uh, you know which has sensors uh, uh, which has uh, you know different robotic uh, machinery enabled uh, power systems uh, for monitoring uh, the condition of these machines and so on. So, these machines are all sensor enabled and also are connected through robots etcetera. And uh, this UMI model can help in the preventive maintenance of the ABB's products. Amazon uh, basically uh, has the robotic shelves and as this name suggests uh, basically uh, Amazon uses different types of robots that will carry these shelves and rearrange these shelves. Uh, Amazon basically is a e-commerce company as you know and these shelves and their rearrangement robotically uh, is very important uh, and that basically makes the processes much more autonomous, efficient and so on. So, the good part of uh, this thing is that because it is an autonomous robotic system uh, you know using this system the robots can efficiently locate and search different items uh, in from their different shelves. So, basically uh, in 2014 the operating cost was cut down by 20 percent using these robotic shelves by Amazon. Caterpillar, Caterpillar basically has the AR app augmented reality app which is integrated with, IIO, uh, with IOT. Caterpillar as you know is a heavy equipment maker and uh, they have come up with the augmented reality app that generates end to end view of the factory floor. So, the machine operators can detect the need for tool replacement whenever it is required after viewing the end to end view through that particular AR app. The AR app basically sends instructions for 
doing things like tool replacement, air filter change, fuel monitoring and so on. Caterpillar has the IoT driven ship maintenance and that is done by their marine division. They use the shipboard sensors to perform predictive maintenance analytics. The sensors that are deployed can monitor generators, engines, GPS, air conditioning systems and fuel meters. The analysis of the sensed data provides useful insights with respect to the insights about power usage of refrigerated containers, uh, uh, the cost of hull cleaning and optimized cleaning schedule uh, and their data, these are all provided through the analy analysis of the data that are obtained through these different uh, sensors that are deployed in the onboard uh, uh, you know devices of the ships. So, preventive maintenance analytics talks about use of all these machine learning techniques that we have discussed in a previous lecture. Tools and techniques like R, Python, Weka can, could be used to come up with these different analytics, predictive analytics and so on. It is use easier to have easier fault correction, reduce downtime and increase profitability using the predictive maintenance analytics and this is what Caterpillar is doing. Fanuc uh, is a robotic maker, it has the zero downtime system, it uses predictive maintenance to reduce the downtime, it uses cloud based analytics with built in sensors, predicts component failure and the zero downtime system that Fanuc has is the winner of the GM supplier of the year innovation award 2016. Gearing uh, is in the in the in the space of connected manufacturing. It makes honing machines using cloud based analytics different types of predictive analytics is done with the data that are received from the machines in real time. Thereby the productivity of the processes uh, productivity uh, in the manufacturing plant uh, of gearing uh, is uh, improved, the optimization of productivity is done and so on. Hitachi has the Lumada system which offers uh, a IoT platform uh, comprising of 5 layers, the layers of edge, core, analytics, studio and foundry which are used together in order to improve the manufacturing processes of Hitachi. Marx is in the space of intelligent shipping. Marx is a container shipping company that tracks the assets and fuel consumption using different sensors. So, this is another example of smart factory and its implementation. It uses IoT for preserving refrigerated containers, uses blockchain technology for supply chain optimization. Magna Steer has the smart packaging system which uses IoT for tracking assets including tools and vehicle parts. So, smart packaging is enabled with Bluetooth, Bluetooth enabled packaging is there in their system and it tracks the components in the warehouses. In Magna Steer, the employees use wearable technologies in order to have end to end connectivity improved connectivity between these different machines, not only between these different machines, but also the machines and the humans or the employees that are working in the factory. Magna Steer has uh, the driverless transport system. Uh, they have the digital factory uh, which offers a virtual image of the entire factory and that is done using advanced technologies. This virtual image provides real time control and detects any anomaly. They create with the help of the data collected, they create the 3D map of the digital factory and uh, that basically helps in doing number of things efficiently including predictive maintenance of their transport vehicles using the data that is stored in the cloud. North Star Blue Scope Steel uses IoT for worker safety. 
So, this particular company is a major supplier in the steel industry. It uh, has different uh, you know smart IoT devices, helmets, wristbands, etcetera for the workers and their supervisors. So, that the supervisors can uh, can track the health condition of the different uh, of, of the different workers. The supervisors can give break for example, to the overloaded workers. The supervisors can monitor the condition of the workers and the working condition in which these workers are working. So, the supervisors can data get data about uh, you know the environmental parameters such as whether there is any radiation in the environment in which the worker is working or whether the worker is working uh, in an environment uh, with different toxic gases. So, some other smart factory applications uh, include the implementation of IoT by Rio Tinto for mining. So, Rio Tinto has driverless trucks and trains to pull ore from the mining sites and they also have the autonomous drill technology. Uh, there are different other IoT applications in the in the power grid sector where IoT has been uh, deployed to make the power systems much more smarter. The company Boss also heavily uses IoT and uh, it basically deploys different IoT uh, equipments in order to improve the working condition of the workers or and also to uh, um, uh, to reduce the number of errors that uh, that happen in the work floor by the different workers. So, these are some of these different references that you could go through uh, in this particular space of uh, the smart factory and also the assembly line in a smart factory IIoT implementation in a smart factory and so on. These are all these different references and including the references talking about these case studies of the companies and their products that I talked about briefly in the last half an hour of lecture. These are all these references for you to go through. Thank you.